Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 58th inauguration of the President of the United States, to welcome the 45th President of the United States, Donald Trump. I have to tell you, this is the most incredible setting of structures that I have ever seen, at least of those that President-elect Trump has not built. But, you know, when this started, an inauguration is a typically American event, and it's the only time in the world that you have this passage of partisan power that transpires in the snap of a finger. Tomorrow at 11.27, when the president-elect, his wife, and his family are sitting on the west end of the mall looking at us. And that power of the free world transcends with respect from what was a great man doing his best to do a great job to the anticipation of a new president as the global leader of the world in three minutes, you have reflection and you have expectation. And every president puts their own fingerprints on an inauguration. And this president-elect was very specific about what he wanted. What he wanted was a you. He wanted it to be of the people. And when I say you, he meant the united you. And set in this setting, of this reflection pond that sits between three unbelievable monuments of three of our profound leaders. And what you see are these incredible stone, beautiful, incredible tributes that stand above us for the purpose of reflecting, of thinking, of what was it, what went before them. But what really stands out, and you can hear it in the silence amongst you at the moment, is the mortar. Not the stone, not the granite, not the marble. It's the thousands of lives, it's the millions of hopes, it's the 10,000 aspirations of all the people, of all the themes that went into these great men. And along the road, we've had 45 men that have left their footprints and their fingerprints throughout the mortar and in the middle of this tidal basin. So as you reflect on those who came before us, and as you have expectations before you, I would like you to pay a tribute to the courage, to the stature, to the strength, to the commitment, to the loyalty of a man who is going to lead you with his footprints to diversity, to put the campaigns behind us, to unite behind one man as one America. He will show the rest of the world that we can argue, we can fight, we can debate, and tomorrow at 11.30 we're one country, and he will be the 45th President of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. And thank you, Tom. I'd like to congratulate our incredible entertainers tonight, Toby and Lee Greenwood, and all of the great talent. It was really very special. I also have to thank our incredible military talent right here. Thank you. Stand up, please. You guys were great. Thank you very much. Thank you. So this journey began 18 months ago. I had something to do with it, but you had much more to do with it than I did. I'm the messenger. I'm just the messenger. And we were tired, and I love you. Believe me, I love you. We all got tired of seeing what was happening. And we wanted change, but we wanted real change. 
And I look so far forward to tomorrow. We're going to see something that is going to be so amazing. So many people have poured into Washington, D.C. This started out tonight being a small little concert. And then we had the idea, maybe we'll do it in front of the Lincoln Memorial. I don't know if it's ever been done before, but if it has, very seldom. And the people came by the thousands and thousands, and here we are tonight, all the way back. All the way back. So it's a movement that began. It's a movement that started. And it's a movement like we've never seen anywhere in the world, they say. There's never been a movement like this. And it's something very, very special. And we're going to unify our country. And our phrase, you all know it, you're half of you are wearing the hat, make America great again. But we're going to make America great for all of our people, everybody. Everybody throughout our country. That includes the inner cities. That includes everybody. And we're going to do a special job. And I can only tell you that 18 months ago, we never knew. A lot of people didn't know. Some people had a feeling. A lot of people didn't give us much of a chance. But we understood what was happening. And that last month of the campaign, when I traveled around to every place that you can imagine, state after state after state, speech after speech. And we had 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 people. There was never an empty seat, just like tonight. We didn't know if anybody would even come tonight. This hasn't been done before. And you look, it was the same way and we all knew that last month of the campaign. I think a lot of us knew the first week of the campaign. But that last month of the campaign, we knew that something special was happening. And I can only tell you this. The polls started going up, up, up. But they didn't want to give us credit because they forgot about a lot of us. On the campaign, I called it the forgotten man and the forgotten woman. Well, you're not forgotten anymore. That I can tell you. Not forgotten anymore. So I want to thank my great family, my incredible wife, Melania. They've been so supportive. And it wasn't easy for them, but they have been so supportive. I want to thank you, most importantly. And I promise you that I will work so hard. We're going to get it turned around. We're going to bring our jobs back. We're not going to let other countries take our jobs any longer. We're going to build up our great military. We're going to build it up. We're going to strengthen our borders. We're going to do things that haven't been done for our country for many, many decades. It's going to change. I promise you, it's going to change. So I'll see you tomorrow. And I don't care, frankly, if it's going to be beautiful or if it's going to rain like crazy. Makes no difference to me. I have a feeling it's going to be beautiful. But I will see you tomorrow, and I'm going to be cheering you on. You're going to cheer me on, but I'm going to be cheering you on because what we've done is so special. All over the world, they're talking about it. All over the world. And I love you folks, and we're going to work together, and we are going to make America great again. And I'll add, 
greater than ever before. Thank you very much and enjoy the fireworks. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.